this is episode three in the series cooking with Jules and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make homemade pesto you can use pesto in salad you can use it in pasta you can make pesto chicken there are so many different ways to utilize it so without further ado here are the ingredients to get cooking with Jules So we're going to start by laying out all our ingredients. I usually use this pesto from Trader Joe's, which I suggest you get, but I didn't have time to go to Trader Joe's. I went to Ralph's, so I got this one and it works pretty well the same. Next, we're going to use two tablespoons of pine nuts, half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and a pinch of salt. We are going to begin by removing the basil leaves from the stems and while we do this we want to make sure that each stem is completely detached from the leaf as I'm showing here. We are going to be doing this until all the leaves are removed from the stems. Next, we are going to rinse off our basil leaves. When you do this, make sure you're using light water pressure because basil leaves are very sensitive and we don't want them to start turning black because of rough handling. After that, we are going to take a few pieces of paper towels, lay them out on the counter, and transfer our basil leaves to the paper towels. When doing this, try your best to spread the basil leaves out as evenly as possible across the paper towels. This is going to help a lot with our next step. Now we are going to take a few more pieces of paper towels, lay them on top of the leaves, and lightly pat them dry. A fun fact for you guys while I am patting dry my basil leaves, Pesto originated from Liguria, which is a region in northern Italy. In Liguria, there is a town named La Spezia, and they are known for their spices. Spezia means spices. And you know why it's called pesto? Because back in the day, food processors didn't exist, so people would use a pestle, or in Italian, pestello, to crush the ingredients by hand. Okay, so we are now ready to make the sauce. We're going to start by taking our basil leaves and putting them inside of the food processor. Next, we are going to take our two tablespoons of pine nuts half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and a pinch of salt and add them into our food processor. Once all of the ingredients are inside of the food processor, we're gonna pop on the lid and mix it all together. If necessary, go ahead and grab a spoon and scrape the sides of your food processor 
so that all of the larger basil pieces that maybe didn't get mixed up the first time around will be pushed down to be able to be mixed up once we run the food processor again. If your sauce starts looking a little bit too liquidy, I don't know if you can tell, but I was able to notice that mine had excess amounts of olive oil. So what you wanna do to fix it is add a little bit more of Parmesan cheese. This also goes vice versa. If your sauce comes out too dense, go ahead and add some olive oil and that should fix it right up. Here is what your finished pesto sauce should look like and man does it look yummy. Now you can use the sauce right away with whatever meal you're prepping or you can put it in little containers and either put it in the fridge for a few days or stick it in the freezer so it'll last longer. We happen to have had made pasta that night so I just took a little bit of my pesto and put it in the pasta. It was delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single time I post. I hope you enjoyed making pesto with me. If you do try out this recipe, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see how yours turns out. And I hope to see you next time on Cooking with Jewels. Bye.